Hello again. In this video, we will do three different levels of tabletop leg lift to indicate your inner core strength. In my six weeks core restore program, I will be strengthening your inner core so at the end you can achieve at least level four or level five of tabletop leg lift. When you can do these levels, you could say your core is fully restored and you can move on to more core advanced exercises. I also focus on teaching it very slowly, combining it with a correct breathing technique to be able to get into deep layers of muscles and tissues of pelvic floor and transverse abdominis. Feel free to try these levels with me now. If at any point you notice your abdomen starts to dome, lower back lifts and you lose your inner core connection, especially when we are doing level 2 and level 3. You know these levels are too advanced for you, so you should continue practicing level 1 until you build up enough inner core strength to move on. Starting with level 1, it's important you learn to fully engage your inner core before you lift your foot off the floor. Take a deep inhale, expanding your ribs and abdomen to the sides. Engage your core, draw your pelvic floor muscles in and up, pull your abdomen down, tighten up your back. On the exhale, slowly lift your leg up to the tabletop. Relax your core. Notice the toe is higher than the knee and knee is past your hip. This will give your back a support so you can maintain a strong inner core connection compared to classic tabletop where shin is parallel with the ceiling and knee is over the hip. Take a deep inhale, re-engage your core, exhale lower. Stay engaged fully until you place your foot down to the floor. Relax. Deep breath in. Zip it all up. Exhale, lift. Nice and slowly. Relax your core, engage, exhale lower. Follow my slow pace. All the way down. The hardest part of this exercise is the speed of the foot lift. If you are taking it off too fast, it's a sign you are not fully engaged before you lift it. Always think your foot is glued to the floor and you are struggling to peel it off. Take a deep inhale, zip it all up, exhale, lift. Relax your core. If you are fully engaged and you are doing it slowly, you should feel this level already be challenging and you need a break at the top. Take a deep breath in. Re-engage. Exhale, lower. Combine the move with the length of your exhale. Relax. To help you to slow it down, I will count up to 10 on the next lifting and lowering part. Take a deep breath in, expand your abdomen 360 degrees, zip it all up, exhale, lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
relax, inhale, engage your core, exhale, lower, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Level two, there is a big difference between level one and level two. When we lift the leg up to the tabletop, we add on the heel. Because of the heel lift, we need to keep the core engaged all the time. If we breathe into the abdomen, it would relax the core and we lose the support from the back. So instead, we inhale into the chest to lower the leg down. Take a deep inhale. Engage your core, draw your pelvic floor muscles in and up, pull your abdomen down, tighten up your back. On the exhale, slowly peel your foot off the floor. Add on the heel towards the end. Not the toe, that is level three. Stay engaged. Inhale into the chest, exhale lower. Heel and tabletop. Relax your core. Take a deep inhale. Zip it all up. Exhale, lift. Always think you are lifting heavy weight. Add on the heel, stay engaged, inhale into the chest, exhale lower. Combine the move with the length of your exhale. Level three, we are only going to add on the toe. Take a deep inhale, engage your core. On the exhale, slowly lift your leg up. Add your heel, toe. Notice I'm only hovering toe of the floor. To make it easier, you can lift it higher. If you are transitioning from level two to level three, you can modify by keeping your toe lightly touching the floor. Stay engaged. Inhale into the chest. Exhale lower. So, heel, sable top. Relax your core. Deep inhale. Zip it all up, put the tight jeans on, exhale, lift. Add your heel, So Keep it low if you can. You can always lift it higher if you need to. Stay connected. Inhale into the chest, exhale, lower. So, heel, tabletop. Nice and slowly, all the way down to the floor. You can see the level three is the hardest so far. If you are interested to watch the level four and level five, you can check out this video. Hopefully, you were able to establish the level of your inner core strength. Don't worry if you didn't. If you just had a baby and you have never exercised your inner core before, you will have a minimum strength in there. However, it doesn't take long to build it up with correct technique of core restore exercises. Mums who have done regular or pregnancy pilates before will usually have a basic level of inner core strength after they've had a baby. And this is why I recommend Pregnancy Pilates, where you will be focusing on strengthening and relaxing pelvic floor muscles and inner core, as well as toning up rest of the body. 
If you've got any questions or you would like to have more information about my six week score restore program, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm always happy to help. I hope you have enjoyed watching all five videos of Core Restore series and you have learned a lot. As always, please click the like button, share, subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos. I look forward to seeing you soon in one of my live Pilates classes Bristol UK, outdoor fitness or online. Thank you for watching.